We've got on Hocus Pocus for the first time this fall, and I'm done getting ready for the day. From a working YouTube perspective, I'm gonna be filming my fall house tour, so I need to get the house tidied up and pretty for that. And then I'm also gonna film another video back to back. I'm gonna film a Dollar Tree haul. And then I'm actually trying to get ready for some DIYs. Yeah, here's Loxie. She has not gotten up from her bed this morning until now, and it's 10 o'clock, so it's time to let her out. Plus, it's raining. Let me tell you what I did last night. Oh, it was stressful. Um, so, wow, girl, I am, did I just come from Bora Bora? Um, so last night, I, I, I can't believe this happened, but for a while now, I was trying to figure out why my Nest thermostat was changing temperatures in the middle of the night. I couldn't for the life of me understand why. And like I would set the schedule and it would just, it was supposed to run that schedule. That was it. It wasn't a schedule based off of, oh, for this week, this is a schedule or for this month, this is a schedule. No, it was the schedule permanently, every day, all day until I changed it. But for some reason, when I would go back, um, like for the upcoming week, it would start adding a different temperature in the middle of the night. And I'm just like, what the heck is this thing doing? Now, mind you, backstory, because this is gonna make me sound really dumb, but just to give you the backstory, when I moved into this house, I have a security system that was, that through the app controlled my Nest thermostat. And I just made the assumption that whenever I transferred, when I changed the services from the previous owner to me, to my security system, that because through the security system app, I could also control my thermostat, that I figured it like that was it, you know? And then this, this temperature thing kept changing. It was like, in the, it was somebody, it was like somebody kept setting the temperature to. So basically, long story short, I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. Why, why is there this temperature change at four o'clock in the morning all the time? Like I just, I didn't understand it. And so I Googled, um, oh no, no, no. I went to my therm, I went to my Nest thermostat. Okay, and then I was just kind of looking through all of the, the options through there. And then it said Nest app. And I was like, I don't have a Nest app. The app that I have that runs my Nest thermostat was through my different app, which is my security system app. And so I was like, well, let me click on this and see what it does. And then it said that there was an account attached to the Nest app, but it wouldn't show me the account and it wouldn't let me like edit or change or anything. So then my mind was like, oh my God, it's still, the, this Nest thermostat is still technically being ran by the previous owners. And I was just like, what in the world? And I don't know if like they have a Nest thermostat where they live now, like I have no idea, but it's the only thing that, but even then that doesn't make sense because I don't know, some, something about it was off, but it, it doesn't matter. In, in the end, this thermostat was doing those weird things in the middle of the night and it's the only thing that makes sense. So I had to restart my nest and then, it, and like an idiot, I just thought it was gonna be a simple reset because there was no way for me to remove their account, so I had to do a factory reset on my Nest. And then it started asking me questions about dual heat, single heat, this, that, and I'm like, 
I don't know the answer to this. I don't know what my AC heat unit is. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I went upstairs and I thought maybe it didn't reset the upstairs and it didn't. So I was able to get all the data from the upstairs unit, assuming, okay, assuming that the downstairs unit is the same information. It does, and it even said, it said, make sure that you're setting the right settings because if that's not actually how your system works, you can break your system. And I'm just like, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so I'm still gonna actually call somebody out just to verify and look at the settings and make sure that they are right for downstairs. But girl is a whole thing, but it doesn't matter. I do finally have, now I have the Nest app itself. So. to edit a vlog so I got that done and now I'm going to um, tidy up the house so that I can film for the house tour I've got some headphones here I've got my charger here that I need to tuck in I'm on a new book let me show you guys mercy by the way I did see a comment um, one lady was talking about Julie Garwood and how uh, most of her books are in a very specific chronological order and I started picking up on that as I was going through her more modern FBI series but um here's the thing about that for me I did the same thing with jo Joanna Lindsay when I first started reading her I really had no idea that characters were kind of tied to each other and that she had written them in a specific order but it actually made it even more fun and almost like reading that same book for the first time, a second time, going back. So meaning I like reading them out of order first and then I go back and read them in order. And it's just, yeah, you keep, because the, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like if in this book she talks about, you know, the main character is person A, but she mentions person B, but I haven't mentioned, but I haven't read person B yet, but person B came before person A. I'm getting into a whole thing. I feel like you do understand what I'm saying, but it's just fun to go back and then get more of person B, you know, basically through a book I just read that I really wasn't invested in because I hadn't read that character yet. So I feel like I just gave everybody a headache wreath so this is a wreath that I'm making for the front door and it I think I showed you guys that I got this wreath on one of my last Hobby Lobby hauls but I think I might have mentioned in that video that it was just a little too summery for me so here's what I came up with I thought I was gonna buy like the picks and you know insert them into here but after going through everything and comparing the picks to the wreath, I remember I saw this garland, which I already have it. It's in my butler's pantry. I'll show you guys. And it just has this fall look to it. You know, I mean, this is the best way that I can describe it. So I basically just took the garland and like nestled it on top so you do get like the peaks of the brighter green but then this kind of like tones it down a little bit more and i think it just looks more fall for me so there we have it i think it's really pretty it's just simple i could put like white pumpkins in it i could put orange pumpkin picks in it you know i could 
uh, I could add ribbon, you know, and all of those things, but this is, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. How the hell am I out of breath from just going down to the ground? You know, here's the latest update. I finished editing my house tour. I finished filming it, I finished editing it. It's uploading now, I finished my thumbnail. And now I am moving on to my second video. This is like a full work day for me. So I'm trying to get in several videos in. So I did update, um, for those of you that have iPhones, I did update mine to the, to the new, um, iOS 14. And I actually worked on my home screen, which is kind of hilarious because I started realizing, I was like, why does this seem familiar? And I couldn't like pinpoint it at first. There I was, working on my widgets, trying to decide what aesthetic I was going to go for. And during this whole process, I'm like, this just feels familiar. And then it dawned on me and I was just like, this is my space. This is my space all over again. And I have this sinking feeling that my space is going to come back. One way or another, I think this iOS 14 thing is definitely going to trigger it. But tell me, for those of you who lived through the MySpace thing like I did, does this whole iOS 14 thing not remind you of that? And for those of you who maybe don't know or never experienced MySpace, how do I put it? It's like iOS 14 for Facebook. That's what MySpace was. It was like a Facebook where you could add friends, you could even, but like you designed your whole page where your friends came to. And you could add music, you could add all kinds of things. Like I don't even remember. Um, I'm sure if you YouTubed MySpace, you might be able to probably find some stuff, but that is what iOS 14 reminds me of. And I started cracking up. I'm like, man, we're, we're going back in time with technology, but it is really cute and I really like it. And maybe I'll throw up some, some screenshots of what I decided mine, I wanted mine to look like. I figured we're in fall, I'm gonna go with it. So it's, I think mine is really cute, super cozy.